American Idol. Wow, and it's season seven already. We missed is, quite a few. It is. Philadelphia, first stop. Yeah, they're going to seven cities throughout this audition process. Right. And over a hundred thousand people. Auditioned. Wow, that's daunting. So it's Paula, Simon, and Randy. Of course. Dog, you're either in or you're out. <laughs> so the first person they showed was Joey Catalano. He lost two, over two hundred pounds. That's 205 crazy. LBs. That's right. Congratulations. And he made it. He sang pretty well. He sounded very soulful. I liked him. He had an interesting voice. Mm -hmm. Then up uh, next, Yuka from Egypt. Uka, Yuka. <laughs> Uka, Yuka, Duka. He was like my favorite of the night. Really? From Egypt. Why? Because he had sexy face? <laughs> he said his friend told him, You have sexy face. No, actually, she said, You are a sexy face. <laughs> And he likes the Mr. Bee Gees. I do too. I love the Mr. Bee Gees. Yeah, so... How deep is your love? Mm -hmm. Not very, because Paula told you no. Melanie Niema was up next. She was actually a backup singer for Taylor Hicks. That's right. Or Tay Hicks, as we like to call him. She was in, by the skin of her teeth. Though. Yeah, they are like, oh, it's kind of boring. Yeah, but then next came the freak of the night. I feel bad for this guy. He was a low singer. He's a I'm, tour guide. He's like James a sub bass. Is the name. Yeah, he sang a song about Moses. <laughs> it's more purple go. <laughs> it was really, really, really low. I think everything else was out of his range. He you know, had a range. <laughs> he wanted to sing something else, but they were I think like they a, already made up no, their no, minds. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, Juno Joiner was, was up next. Juno. Whatever. <laughs> And he sang that Elton John song, The Blues. I thought it was okay. <laughs> All I can think of when I hear Elton John is, I'm still standing. <laughs> <laughs> but he was in. So it was all good. Temptress, and she had quite a backstory. Wow. First of all, she's 16 years old. What? I know. Second, she, she is a football. middle linebacker in the football team. Yeah. And she wants to win for her mama, mm -hmm. because her mama's very ill. And uh, I feel bad for her. Unfortunately, singing is not her thing. That's right. But she's got a great smile. <laughs> when you smile, forget about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she's not a singer, but they had to hustle her out of there with a group hug. That was... <laughs> so after the commercial break, Mark Hayes came up. <laughs> he was the cricket man. He made this awesome cricket It was sound. awesome. And he's like, yeah, I'll be at concerts or whatever, and I'll make the cricket noise, and everyone laughs. You know how the performer probably feels? Yeah, I know. I guess just like he did when they made the cricket sound for him. Okay. <laughs> so next up, Udi. Or was it Oogie? Udi, but they called him Oogie. He was MC Hammer look-alike, and dance-alike, and sing-alike. Well, nah. he tried to be. <laughs> he thought he was. But he sang a Frank Sinatra song all in one note. <laughs> scary. Wow, that was amazing. Frank would be rolling in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to ask. He didn't make it. Okay, then, I love when they do the montages. Yes. I love rock and roll. Blah, Bring blah, on the blah, Misfits blah, and the blah, Dope blah, Addicts. <laughs> wow, so they had a Misfit and Dope Addict medley of people who couldn't sing that song. Yep. It and was priceless. Sometimes I threw in one that was like... Oh, kind of uh, okay. okay. <laughs> kind of okay. But for the mo most part... Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but then next was the P.S. de Resistance. <laughs> Philly's skankiest cocor. Oh my god. <laughs> she was a train wreck. If anyone has seen the show Strangers with Candy, that is Jerry in about Jerry five Blank. years. Yeah. Her name was Alexis Cohen. And she also looked like Willem Dafoe, which uh, you could hear Nigel Lithgow point out in the in background. In Spider-Man. <laughs> she lives in a studio apartment with her mom, her two cats. And her dog. That's right. And... She is an artist. But she she's actually also wasn't going to school bad. to be a veterinarian. Yes. She wasn't a bad singer. Although she does need versing in the English language. <laughs> I think she could have a chance in some sort of band, though. Yeah. She has, like, a band voice. She has a cover band she voice. She needs, like, a background. 
She was really perfectly okay and fine in the audition, but the minute she walked out the door, it was like a volcano starting She's to like, erupt. She's like, stop it. <laughs> no, first she was like, bad words. Yeah. Bad words. He's a oh, really big camera? bad word. Right. Yeah. F. Simon. Ugh. And, then, <laughs> and then she started going progressively crazier and crazier till she said my favorite quote of the night. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go for actressing then. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Actressing. I think yeah. we need to introduce her to Britney Spears. I think so. So, the last audition of the day, of day one, showed how important family support is. Mm -hmm. There was a girl whose name was Angela Martin. Well, actually, she was a woman. 26. Right. She had, I think it was an 8-year-old daughter who has Rett Syndrome. And she just wants to make a better life for her daughter. But none of this would be possible without the entire support of her family. That was cool. That was very cool, and I'm very glad that she made it. Mm -hmm. Her voice was great. She's a wedding singer. And she needs to de wedding. Like, de wedding eyes. <laughs> yes. So I'm happy for her. I think she's one of my favorites so far. Yes. Next up, Elise. This was day two. <laughs> right. Billy. Elise, the pencil girl in the orange dress. She's like, yeah, I like Alicia Keys, Regina Spector. <laughs> yeah. She was the beginning of Simon's nightmare. And the nightmare continued with mm -hmm. the yell singers. Oh, my God. A whole montage of yell singers. Okay, people. Yelling is not a form of singing. No. So don't do it. It's just yelling. But then Milo, the bald guy, showed up. And <sighs> He was like a caseworker for sex. And I know. No sex allowed. I know. He certainly didn't work at Planned Parenthood. He was 39 years old, and they couldn't even tell him no because he didn't qualify for the show. Yep. They're like, we can't vote. Yeah, but they let him sing his but little sex scary song. song. It was very scary. But then up next was Christy, the cage fighter from yes. Oregon. And I'm thinking, ugh, this is going to be weird. But she was really good. She sold... One of her horses to yeah. make the trip to audition. I I can't make I can't be a big fan of her though because I don't like country music and that's yeah. kind of like what her voice is. Mm. But I'm glad that she made it through because she really made a big effort to get there. And she was good. And she was good. Okay, Cape Man, <laughs> a guy dressed up in like a Princess Leia costume. It was a weird bathing suit bikini thing. But he was too hairy, so they sent him to go get waxed. More on him later. <laughs> so next, this Priceless. guy was a creep. This guy is so money, and he, he doesn't, doesn't know, even know it, it, but, but he, he does. does. And he is a stalker, man. His name was Paul, and he wrote a creepy, creepy song about going into Paula's house and trying he's on like, her underwear. This is and, Paul, and he's like, if you were a bathtub, I would cock you. <laughs> And all this weird crap. And he was it like, was yeah, gay. he was like, I broke into your house when you weren't home. I tried on your underwear. I was like, oh! It was funny until he got all up on on top of the table almost. So I was like, you need to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Next was Beth Stalker. Another stalker of a different type. <laughs> a horse of a different color. Yes. She has a Christian album out. or she From when had. she was like a kid. Yeah. And uh, she was okay. Simon says no. But everyone else like, yeah, you're going to Hollywood. Okay. So, Cape Man's back. Yay! Okay, so... He went through a painful waxing. Got rid of the cape again. This time, hair free. Like a baby. Like Still a baby though, ew, buttocks. cover up your anus. He had he had some crack, and crack kills, so he's off. He's saying don't You don't, don't want to see your cottage cheese either. Don't show. Don't you wish you could get a wax like me? Ow! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, Chris Watson was up next, and he sang a song by Uncle Cracker. He was one good-looking guy. I guess. <laughs> well, not my type. Not but... my type, but I could see. So, even Simon said, you look like a star. Thanks, Simon. <laughs> There's two people left. There's Star Wars girl. Yeah. Who wants to change the face of American Idol. Wow. So... She didn't make it. <laughs> and she was pissed. She was really pissed. She kept going on and on. And, uh, they didn't want me because I was a dork. I was. A, I hate myself. Dork. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they don't want anything different. She they just want those girls with the pretty hair and the she, makeup. <laughs> makeup all did now. Why do I keep doing a southern accent? I don't, I don't know. think that girl was even, even southern. I thought she was from Connecticut. I think she was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the last audition of Philly. Brooke. 
Yes, she is a nanny for two little twins. They're like a year old. And her claim to fame is she has never seen an R-rated movie. Girl, you are crazy. And neither has her husband. I've seen like a million rated R movies. I just watched one today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they liked her. And she was alright. Randy's like, I like you. Mm -hmm. You're kind of pure. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of pure, yes. Here is. 29 people made it from Philly. That's it. I know. It, like it seemed like a lot more. So tomorrow, if you join us. Kelly Clarkson's and I hope you do, hometown. That's right. Dallas TX. Because yes. of you. <laughs> I know. So, you know what? I can tell you already. It's Freak Central. Everybody's singing since you've been gone. And it's not pretty. <sighs> I can't wait. Me <laughs> either. Till then. Much, Much love. love.